ex-player turned pundit and an award-winning pundit as that. Is no longer, let's not call this guy Salt Bay, we're going to call him Salty Gary. That's right, Salty Gary is now taking swipes at Arsenal because Mikel Arteta is doing a fine job and Manchester United are in the dumps. Gary Neville's coming out and saying Mikel Arteta can still leave at the end of the season if he finishes top four. Well, we're going to get into this story. I'm Ty Knight Head with TK24 Sports, and if you're new to the show, like, subscribe, turn that notification on because if you don't, once you've watched the show, once you've given it a big thumbs up and you haven't subscribed, the algorithm with him will not get you back to the show so that's why you need to do it let's go salty gary neville that's right salt gary neville taking swipes at arsenal in a nice polite way you could say saying that Mikel Arteta can still leave at the end of the season and I can see it happening because once he's got arsenal back into the top four 50 50 that is in gary neville's words and by the way, when I'm just saying these words, I'm not paraphrasing, I'm saying the words that he has used, which has come out in the Metro. He still thinks that if Arsenal get top four, where can you go from there? You've still got Chelsea, City, Liverpool in front of him. But there's a problem with Gary Neville. Very salty with these comments. He now knows that Arsenal are on the trajectory going back to where they were before. Yes, over 10, 12 years ago, challenging for the league and making themselves a presence and a nuisance while doing so. But he's seen the likes of his Manchester United club, can't get a manager in place, players wanting to leave, the you know, the vice captain of England getting booed by the, his own national I want to say the, the whole home na the home nation, as it were, plus his own home team. Marcus Rashford getting booed out of Old Trafford. Luke Shaw getting booed out of Old Trafford. Wan Basaka getting booed out. Ronaldo's now being questioned. Bruno Fernandes, people questioning why he's getting contracts. But he's looking at Arsenal and Mikel Arteta's job. He's seen what Liverpool done and he got jealous over that. Salty Gary. He saw what Chelsea were becoming. Salty Gary. He saw what City were becoming. Salty Gary. Now he's seen what Arsenal are coming. Salty Gary. Still making his comments. To say that, you know, if Arsenal get top four, Mikel Arteta can still walk away, it's unheard of. You know Mikel Arteta is here to stay and he's got a project. He came here, he said he's here to unite the fans, unite the club back together because one without the other is not going to work. He is delivering on his words and Salt Gary, Salty Gary, is here worried. Knowing that Arsenal on the up, players may want to leave Old Trafford to come to the Emirates because of Mikel Arteta and what he's building, the philosophy, the ethos, the great playing style. He's bringing on youngsters and turning them into gems. He's finding gems out there in the woods, bringing them through to the light and the diamonds are shining bright now. Arsenal are on the up and Manchester United, they're not on the down down, but they're just on the down, if you know what I'm talking about. So yes, my tone is a bit different because this didn't rub me the right way, the wrong way, should I say. This rubbed me in the good way because now we're seeing ex-players turn pundits, seeing their club that's being destroyed from the outside in, from the inside out, while their ex-rivals are now back on the ascendancy. And that is where Arsenal's going under Mikel Arteta. So I guess Gary Neville's hoping that Arteta will leave Arsenal to go to Manchester United to fix their problems, but that's not going to happen, is it, Salty Gary? To turn around and say there's a 50-50 chance of it, Arsenal finishing the top four, that is correct. It's still, it's still open season. Anyone can still get it. But at this moment in time, with two games in hand, Arsenal are in the driving seat. Aren't they, Salty Gary? Yes, they are. To start thinking that Mikel Arteta is going to walk away from this project that he started by booting out the players that wasn't needed anymore having a hard, stringent chat with these players, bringing on the likes of a Saka, the Smith Bowes, Odegaard, giving him a lease of life, making Granite Saka now look like a £50 million midfielder, getting the best out of a Thomas Party, bringing in Ben White for £50 million. Tommy Yasu, no one heard of him. And also, did we forget, oh yes, Ramsdale. He's making Lacazette look great. Even though Lacazette's not scoring goals, but the contribution and the way he's playing, it makes Arsenal look more infectious. Look at the fans. Look at the way the fans are now jumping up and down. They now fight to say, no, this guy's got to start because he's going to bang in the goals. Well, 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 this guy, this guy can do it. But now this guy's on form. That's what Mikel Arteta has now brought back to Arsenal. Fans rejoice and fans in unison. Not everyone is a Mikel Arteta fan. I get that. They're not. But for Salty Gary to come out and say this, you know Arsenal are doing the right things. You can go and find this article on Metro and you can see for yourself, I am not making this up. Gary Neville has turned Salty against Arsenal. And this is a good day, people. So anyway, if you like our shows and you like all the other shows we've done, make sure you click and you subscribe and you keep on sharing to everyone to show TK24 Sports 
is a great show. We don't talk nonsense, we talk sense. And hopefully you can leave your comments below. Am I right in this? Is Gary Neville being salty? Is Arsenal back on a trajectory to where we need to be? Comments below, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you soon.